When the tornado hit last year, it was that moment of this is why we need to have an operations center such as this. The DSOC, Disaster Science Operations Center, was still in the planning stages when a tornado struck dangerously close to campus on December 11th of last year. We were operational that night. Uh, even though we didn't have this space up and running, we were running virtually um, and immediately upon the, you know, the tornado impact. After the tornadoes, meteorology students like Joseph Lewis sprang into action. Uh, we went out to the Creekwood subdivision and Moss Creek and saw the horrible damage. And so we just got to do that. We got some hands-on experience from John Gordon showing what it takes for a building at that level to be impacted by a weather system. Just over a month ago, the DSOC officially opened in Environmental Science and Technology Hall, or EST, offering applied learning in weather service forecasting, broadcast television, and emergency management. And that's sort of the, the, the working triangle in the, in the real world. Uh, so we were missing that component, so we added it, and that became sort of the, the blueprint for this facility. Lewis and his peers have put this type of forecasting into action at events here on campus and at high profile events around the country. This year we got to go to the USA Games and forecast for that in Orlando. Uh, more recently we got to do the Chicago Marathon. The big dreams don't stop there. Durkee says this interdisciplinary approach will only expand as interest in emergency management among meteorology students continues to grow. Everything has come together. Uh, we look forward to, you know, doing this well into the future now. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.